As the sun set on another tragic day for America, a crowd of 200 people formed outside the White House. Inside the building, President Obama's spokesman had said today was not the day for a debate on the country's gun laws. But these protesters insisted that it was exactly the right time. Every day in this country, we lose 86 heroes, 86 families, 86 kids. Lose somebody they deeply love and care about. Now imagine yourself being one of those people. Right? We're losing those heroes. Today is the day. The Connecticut authorities dealing with the latest shooting know their state already has some of the toughest gun laws in the country and the fifth lowest rate of gun deaths. But laws can't solve everything. Early reports suggest the weapons used in the Newtown shooting were legally purchased and registered to the gunman's mother, though that hasn't been confirmed. The worst mass shooting of recent years was at the campus of Virginia Tech in 2007. 33 were killed, including the gunman, a 23-year-old student. At Luby's Cafeteria in Texas in 1991, 24 were shot, including the gunman. In 1984, at a McDonald's restaurant in California, 22 people were killed, including the gunman, a security guard. And at the University of Texas in 1966, 17 were killed, including the gunman, a former Marine sniper. In 1999, at the notorious Columbine High School massacre, 19 were shot dead, including two gunmen, both teenagers. And earlier this year, at a movie theatre in Colorado, 12 were shot dead during the Batman movie The Dark Knight Rises. The alleged gunman is in custody awaiting trial. Despite these killings, opinion polls suggest Americans are divided equally on gun laws. Some see controls on gun ownership as an invitation to commit crime. These shooters do pick soft targets. Uh, shopping malls where firearms are prohibited, uh, movie theaters, churches. Uh, you see these, these gun-free zones being a magnet for the kind of person who wants to commit this kind of a heinous act. Surveys suggest a smaller proportion of Americans actually own weapons now than at any point in the past 40 years, down from around a half then to about a third now. And the overall rate of gun deaths has fallen significantly over the same period, even as the number of mass shootings has risen. President Obama has said meaningful action must be taken to prevent them. The question is what? Bill Hayton, BBC News.